Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Heather Weber placed Laura on high alert, but is it too late? In the General Hospital recap for Wednesday, January 24, 2024, Heather tells Laura about Esm for a valid reason, and she was correct to do so. In this episode, Curtis also planned a farewell party for Trina, and Spencer told Trina and Joss all about Nick and Esm. Meanwhile, Kevin questioned Esm. Spinelli also received some peace of mind from Cody and a reality check regarding his own emotions. Now let's delve a little deeper into the details. Help me, help Esm. Heather summoned Laura to the prison for a really insightful conversation about Esm. She informed Laura all about Esm regaining her memory and even pushed her to pursue prosecution. What's her reasoning for all of this? Esm would be alongside her, right where she belonged. Laura was stunned by the entire situation. Why would Esm lie after all these years? She was also concerned about what would happen now. Heather informed her that Esm would want vengeance, and she was certain that Spencer and Trainer would be the primary targets. Esm was at the office, stealing the company's card and attempting to book travel tickets. That is where Kevin found her. He questioned her openly why she hadn't called the cops about Nick and Ace. Esm reasoned that there was nothing the cops could do. It was not technically a kidnapping. Kevin expressed his support, as did Laura. They'd be on her side, he promised. Esm was unsure about that. Kevin asked Esme whether she wanted to change. Yes, she did. Kevin was eager to assist her in accomplishing this task. Except that Esm did not want to change. She hit him over the head with a vase instead. Bon voyage. Trina and Spencer spent time with their loved ones at the Savoy. Curtis was just out of the hospital, but he didn't let his daughter's operation date to him from hosting a farewell party. Spencer told Trina and Joss about what happened at this party. He gave Ace to Nick to save his younger sibling. The girls were stunned, especially when he revealed his concerns that Esm recalled everything. Joss promised to get the truth out of her when the two were in Paris. As the party came to a close, Trina spent time with each of her loved ones. Curtis was proud of her and urged her to strive for the stars. Portia, Brooke Hare, was also proud. It took everything she had to hold back tears as they pondered Trina's departure. Meanwhile, Molly arrived at Christina's apartment with a load of organic foods. Was she being a little pushy? Sure. However, Christina took it nicely. Molly convinced her to take a pregnancy test as a precaution. When the news came back positive, the sisters were overjoyed. Speaking of present givers, Cody arrived to Maxie's with new cowboy boots for James. Unfortunately, they were too large. Fortunately, his decision to request for an exchange afforded Spinelli, Bradford Anderson, the opportunity to meet with him alone. He all but accused Cody of going after Maxie romantically. Cody quickly set him straight. Maxie and the children were like family to him. He's definitely not a romantic rival. And then he confronted Spinelli about his sentiments. He clearly still carried a flame for his child's mother. Mayor Laura Collins, Dante, and Chase form an incredible team. General Hospital spoilers for January 25, 2024 suggest a Law and Order episode with Laura collaborating with the detectives, Martin devising a potential hero move in court, and lawyers Robert and Diane feuding over Sonny. Don't miss this episode. Laura's world keeps opening up Esm. Right now, she is concerned about her son, Nicholas, who is a fugitive twice over, and it is directly related to Ace's mother. First, Nicholas is wanted for keeping Esm captive. Second, the Dark Prince took his baby child without Esm's permission. Laura is also concerned that Esm may have recovered her memory. After learning of the kidnapping, the mayor-slash-grandmother contacted Dante. So it's no wonder that she, Dante, and his Port Charles Police Department partner, Chase, Josh Swickard, have banded together now that Laura knows the old Esm has returned. When the trio discovers an unexpected discovery, will they stumble and count at Esm herself? Or is it something totally different? 
such as a passed-out Kevin on the floor of Alex's office. Sonny is a popular guy who has a way of influencing people's relationships. For example, Robert and Diane had reached an impasse over Diane's key client. Diane's fate is obviously tied to the coffee importer. On the other hand, Robert would be delighted if he could send Sonny to jail. What are the two fighting over? Whether to accuse Sonny with assault, despite his victim Cyrus Reynolds refusal to seek charges. Also, expect Sonny to advise Alexis. Could this be about Christina slash Moy's surrogacy again, especially now that Christina has received the results of her pregnancy test? Or is there anything more appealing to Sonny? Meanwhile, Jordan, who rarely asks for help, enlists another of Sonny's rides or dies. Surprisingly, she goes to Brick for assistance. He is stealthy and resourceful. So, what type of assistance does Jordan need from Brick? Finally, Martin does not feel very confident in his personal life. His and Lucy's relationship is shaky. However, he is on the verge of achieving professional success. He feels he's got his hands on positive proof in court. Is this related to Finn's Michael Easton case? Or someone else's? In case you missed it, mornings on Soap Hub are reserved for comments or wild speculation about General Hospital's current stories, where they're heading, how they're doing, and sometimes simply what we hope to see in Port Charles in the near future. Nicholas Cassadane mentioned how large his son Ace was on General Hospital. Indeed, Joey and Jay Clay, the twins who play Nick's son, recently accomplished a significant milestone in their stay in Port Charles. A year ago, Joey and Jay Clay began playing Ace, the unusually named son of Essen Prince and Nicholas Cassadine. Lana, their mother, celebrated the big day on social media. Celebrating our first anniversary on General Hospital, Lana Clay posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm grateful for this opportunity and the incredible support from my fellow actors and actresses. Fun fact, the boys began appearing on the show when they were only six months old. Lana ensures that her guy's GH experience is forever. She uses posts to keep the twins' followers up to date on what's happening during the exhibition. General Hospital's wardrobe team does an amazing job dressing our sons. Lana posted a tweet. Their clothes are usually gorgeous and perfectly coordinated, and we adore the creative direction they bring to each scenario. When we arrive, we check in with security, walk to our dressing room for seclusion, rest, and then prepare the boys for their scenes. Lana is convinced that her boys will be in good hands when they act as baby ace. Did you know General Hospital prioritizes child safety? Ace's real-life mother posted, Joey and Jay have work permits and Mark and I am present for all episodes. The industry norms and California law ensure that a studio teacher slash welfare worker is always there to monitor our son's well-being. Joey just performed sequences with Huss and Nicholas Alexander Chavez in which Nicholas finally met his son. As if on cue, Ace melted into his father's arms, putting his little head on Nicholas' chest. Joey aced his scenes, but his mom came up with a cleverer joke, overwhelmed by the positive feedback from today's show. At only 17 months old, Joey and Jay have already ACED so many incredible scenes. Lana wrote on X. Here's to many more to come. Soap Hub wishes Joey and Jay Clay a happy first anniversary on GH. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.